That's where I slept last night. And this morning, I woke up to rain. I was actually in a different area of the state. And if you can put two and two together, rain and camera gear doesn't really, doesn't really like mix well. So I outran the rain and I am on another body of water to continue the muskie hunt. Crossing my fingers that uh, I can get lucky on, on a new body of water here and hopefully catch some fish. Without question, this is a big fish spot. There's a fish on side. I'm getting out to the right of the boat. I was like second cast with the big husky Medusa. Oh, that's a muskie. Full bearing hook, bearing hook. Dude, that might extend to the mark, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go, man. Dude. First spot we're gonna fish is usually where I start on any lake. I go to where the wind's blowing and any sort of main lake piece of structure, preferably a point that is near deep water. That's your best bet at finding anything really in the lake but for a muskie you're always going to expect especially the biggest muskies to be on the biggest piece of main lake structure ah there's one right there there's a fish on side i'm going out to the right of the boat i'll switch to my side imaging screen here and point this out shadow fish i'm going to draw my cursor over and I'm gonna mark that fish and then I'm gonna switch back to my GPS. That's where he is. All right, I just happen to have a pull pause sitting here. I'm gonna throw that on. Let's see if I can get this fish to bite. He's high up, so he's feeding. Well, that fish just shut off. There he is. Just went buried right on the edge of that weed line. Tough break. These fish are just not active. Look at, that's another fish. The fish is right there. The shadow is just casting on the bottom. I know my, my side imaging is pretty blurry right now. But that's 100% a muskie, right there. Found the biggest chunk of sunken island I could near the deepest water, and I came to find out it's all rocks. So there's ciscos in this lake. Without question, this is a big fish spot. And it's 11:41 right now. We're nearing high noon, which kind of has a kind of has you know a, a pretty particular past with big fish. We're gonna crank some rubber because I don't think they're gonna be chasing blades right now. And I'm hoping to pull off a thick one. Staying with it, but he's not going. I don't get it. What are you doing, buddy? He's still there. I don't see him, but he's still there somewhere down there. I don't know he's gone. I was like second cast with the big husky Medusa. He stayed with it, so I don't know, that's weird. So this morning has been just a total grind and, and it's, it's strange to me that it's been a grind because we have textbook perfect musk conditions. We have overcast skies, we have a cold front in late summer, and we have a breeze, which is awesome. On top of that, it's prefrontal. We have weather coming in 
later today. So the fish should just be going, but they're not. I've been on two bodies of water today. I've marked countless inactive fish out in no man's land, and I've gotten one lazy follow. So just really strange. I mean, it, 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 these fish should be going right now, and they're just not. When you get out and conditions are tough, use that as an opportunity to learn. Now on the flip side to this, let's take a look back at yesterday and see how in less than ideal conditions, we were still able to come away with a really, really nice fish. All right, well, we're back out on the water chasing muskies and I'm once again joined by Alex McLean. And uh, if you don't know what happened last time, I'll have a link for that right here. But uh, I caught my new personal best muskie at 52 inches and we also caught Another nice fish that night, but we're back out chasing big fish once again. Uh, unfortunately today the conditions really aren't in our favor. We got a southeast wind which isn't that great, but we do have some overcast skies and some light wind. So the potential's there, hopefully things kind of heat up, but uh, the goal is the same, to go after big muskies. Oh my god. It's the most defined fish, <laughs> like the most defined photo. That's a muskie. There's the fish, and that's the shadow. If you're gonna tell me that's anything other than a muskie, I won't believe you, because it's pretty clear that that's a muskie. We just marked a pretty clear muskie, and not only was it 100% a muskie, it was a very big muskie. So what we did is, without hesitation, we basically just bolted off right onto the outside edge, because that fish was kind of on the outside of where we were fishing. So we're further out now, we're gonna be casting into where that fish was and it was very high up. So that fish was definitely active. So the potential for something to happen is, is possible right now. It's like, you know, gonna be able to do things to... All the ones I have, they run really good. They run like a double eight though. So every time I caught a fish, I'm like, oh, another one on the Steger 8.9. And then it took me like a year later and I was like, oh, uh, it was a 9.10. Oh, we got fish. What did we get? was such a weird bite. Yeah, good one. Oh. Dude, what a weird bite. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Dude, I can't get off of this. Gotta go around, gotta go around, gotta go around. Take your time, take your time now. Get her in. They're just being. Oh my god. What the hell? Dude, that might extend to the mark, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go, man. Dude. The plan worked. We we pushed back out and that fish absolutely hammered the Stager IC9. That's my first fish on that bait. Super cool color. I was just telling this is Alex's bait. I was just telling him that I'm gonna have to pick one of these colors up, but now that kind of seals the deal. I'm gonna have to find that one, but uh, this is a nice fish. Uh, not as fat as the 52 that I got, but yeah, I don't know. We're, we're kind of thinking that this might hit the magic mark, so we're gonna take a look at her, get her on the board, and see where she lands. Get her on there. The elusive 49.75. <laughs> Amazing. Not quite 50, but about as close as you can get. So cool. All right, let's get her back. So that was just pretty crazy. That was, I mean, we, we had the idea to push back out when we marked those fish. We slid back out and that was like probably a minute, maybe two minutes into, into pushing back out. And uh, I bet that was probably one of the fish that we marked. Uh, that other fish was definitely bigger. So close to that magic 50, but you know, a 49 and three quarters is also a really cool fish to catch. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, we were expecting to be pretty slow out here so I am you know very thankful that we were able to to boat a fish and we still got plenty of plenty of daylight left and the potential for things to to continue heat up I have to uh, stop the bleeding in my hand but uh, night's made I guess when me and Alex fish together it's just things happen 